Hello world of YouTube, and welcome to a, another Let's Arcade. Uh, this is the second one, and this is going to be um, probably the last one I wanted to do too. I wanted to do the Crazy Taxi last week and the Galaga this week, but this time, uh, as I said, I'm joined by a, just, a guest commentator, and uh, I'm joined by the rising Let's Player, Cal's Crazy. Moo! Hello and, everybody, I'm Cal's Crazy. And um, we're playing through, doing some commentary over Galaga, one of my favorite arcade games, and Cal's has stated uh, to me that it's one of his as well. This is probably my favorite arcade game. I love Galaga so much. I'm not very good at it, but I do love it. Yeah, it's it's one of those games that like. It's, I don't know. There's something about. So it, it's something about this game. There's just it's got a good charm to it. Like the, yeah, the sound effects like, are so crisp, and it's just a it's a really fun experience. Um, but uh, I don't know. It, I I what hooked me was uh was those guys those those uh. The things that come down and steal your ship, and then you could get two ships. I always found that so cool. Yeah, it's and it seemed like it seemed like an early cheat code, Just... even though they tell you how to do it. It's like, oh, I found a way to cheat the game. I have uh, this new ship, and I have double the power. What he's talking about is, oh crap, I died. That is not supposed to happen. But um. But I. Uh... I just like the fact that the enemies actually try to like kidnap you and use it against you or something. Yeah. I always I always thought that was a cool concept. Yeah. Oh, I already lost my bonus ship. This is a this is a terrible way to start this uh this this way this gameplay off, but uh ah. But um yeah, this game like this game is just it's so it's so unique. Like the the sound effects. I don't know if if you ever found this, but uh the sound effects for this game, I always kind of related it to the to the show Jeopardy. I don't know if I don't know if you if that kind of sounds similar to you or not, but it's just a weird thing I always thought about this game. It always made me think of the, the show Jeopardy. Hmm. I I never really thought about that. That's um uh, that's a oh, unique yeah. take on it. That's for sure. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm... Have you ever played the uh? Have you ever played uh? I forget what it's called. There's an updated Galago version. You can download it for Wii too. It's it's kind of different. There's like different levels and paths you can take. It's it's kind of strange. Um, it was oh. for the Turbo Graphics 16, but yeah, I, I downloaded that. It's different, but it's pretty cool too. Galaga 90, I think I know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that was the name of it. Galaga. I, I thought there was a n number in it. I that actually think that's right. part of this. I actually think they actually included it as part of this game's package because we're playing on a uh, on a compilation of arcade game of Namco games on the Xbox. Um, it's got this, oh, yeah. it's got Pac-Man, it's got a whole bunch of other fun stuff. And I think Galaga 90 is actually part of it, which is uh, funny that you mentioned that. I thought you were talking about, uh, the, they remade Galaga again recently, like within the last five years. It's called Galaga Legions for the Xbox, and it's insane! Yes, yes. Galaga Legions is like, yeah. it's crazy. Like, it's it's a lot more flashy graphics and tons of... Like it's almost like an HD remake with a whole bunch of new gameplay elements, and it's just a whole bunch yeah, going I, on to the screen at once. I I didn't really like it too much. I like the uh, the simplistic factor of this game. You know, yeah. I think they uh, I think they overdid it with the the legions thing. Just like the new the new Pac Man where he goes like super fast and stuff. Yeah. Just, there's just something lost by overdoing it that much. It doesn't have that... Ch no, I, I kind of agree with that. It doesn't have that charm. Like, I, I enjoy yeah. playing them for a different reason, but, like, these these definitely have some sort of, like, nostalgic charm that keeps people coming back to them. For sure. And, um... Sure. The, um... Oh God. No, I don't want to lose my ship. Um... What was I going to say? The, uh... Do you actually have any, like, specific memories of Galaga, like, playing it in an arcade and, like, getting the high score or anything? Um, not in an arcade, per se. Not an arcade per se, but um, I do remember always. I would see this game anytime I saw like an arcade cabinet of it. It would usually be there. Mostly, I would remember it at like uh, when we would go to like to the drive-in theater. My parents would 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 go to the drive-in, and always in the snack bar there would be one of these things sitting there. Really? And my parents, yeah, my parents would never give us a quarter to play it, but <laughs> I would always like to bother my brother. And go over there and uh, try to pretend I was playing it while they was doing the demo, right? Yeah. <laughs> and just showing you what. So I'd pretend I was playing, and you'd be like, "How do you come? You get to play?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'd be like, "Yeah, yeah." I think I actually remember finding some quarters once, and I actually got to play it, and that was like the coolest thing ever. But um, 
Yeah, but the, I always wanted to play this game. Yeah, this uh, it's so cool. It is really cool. This is one of my mom's favorite arcade games too. And when I was a kid, we used to go to this laundromat. And uh, oh, why did I get my ah? Uh, oh wait, no, he didn't have one of my ships. He had a red ship. But anyway, uh, they had a laundromat when I was like young. When I was like three, I was really young, and uh, I used to remember. It's amazing that I can remember back that far. But uh, they had a Galaga machine, and I, anytime we'd always wash, my mom and I would take turns while we were washing our clothes, and we'd have like. Because my mom was amazing at Galaga, but we'd always have, like, the competition, the mother-son competition, and it was, it was a nice bonding experience when I was really young, and, uh, we still do that sometimes today, because this game, this game is everywhere. That's how popular this game is. They still make, they still put the, this game in arcades, because it sells. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, if you can find an arcade, I don't know, there's, here in Toronto, I can't even find an arcade, it's very rare, like, uh find arcades anymore yeah it's mostly like in in i mean like i'm thinking like dave and busters because the mall arcade here doesn't have it i keep dying so fast but uh the, the mall arcades here don't really have a good variety of games which is sad because arcade gaming you know even though i'm i'm, I'm uh, i was like a product of the 90s so when a lot of that was kind of dying out um I still remember going to arcades a lot as a kid, and like nowadays, arcades aren't as fun. Like they're yeah, you got the high score. Yes, that sort of shows you how much I don't play these uh these versions anymore because I play them on like the the uh, I have some on the Dreamcast. My high score's on that, but I actually haven't played this disc before. For sure, for sure. Yeah, arcade gaming is it's like I've seen I've seen actual more than one console port onto one arcade, almost to kind of save it as like to try to save arcade gaming. Like, of course, Guitar Hero's there now, but, like, I've seen some pilot games for the Xbox in the arcade. It blew my mind. But, um... Crap, I think we lost him. No, you lost me. I'm still here. Can you not hear me? Hello? Cows? I'm still recording. Uh, this is not good. Hello? Cows? Cow's crazy. What's going on? This is alarming. Ah, I'm scared. Sorry about that there, guys. I had some... Let us... Had some, uh, technical difficulties. Internet, you know. Somewhat unrelated. Technical difficulties, please stand by. Yeah, exactly. I should have one of those uh, graphics there. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, um, what I was saying, the de decline of arcade gaming. I'd like to see it make a return, but I don't think it will. Like the, now, Fruit Ninjas in the arcade and stuff too, which is kind of weird. Like, why would you pay to play an app that you can get on your phone or even on the Xbox? Like, it's it's weird to me where arcade yeah. gaming's gone. Oh. Ah, mm. oh no! Ah, so close. The um, I guess that, that sucks. Yeah. To describe Galaga, what you have to do, if it wasn't obvious, you're the little ship on the bottom. You have to shoot the big ships on top. I could have let him capture me. And they have different types. They have uh, the blue ships that, or the green ships that turn blue, that take your ship. The red ones that swoop down once, and the blue ones that make loops around, back up. Um, and. Every five stages, I believe, that you get a challenging stage, and it's, uh, it's a whole rip-roaring good time. This game got I believe here. I saw... I believe I saw it was included in this package. Uh, what's the other game that's similar, but yet not as fun? Galaxian or something? Yeah, Galaxian was, uh, is a part of this package, which is not nearly as fun as Galaga. Like, you're slower, and it's... No, it... You you were gonna say... It, it's very similar, but yet I just didn't like it as much for some reason. Yeah, it's 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 almost it's almost directly the same, except your ship looks like a Y-wing from Star Wars. Your bullets are slower, and it's just it's an all-around sluggish game. Like this game is almost perfect in terms of controls yeah. and just everything. Like listen to that sound. That sound is so rich and just unique. It like it takes you back, even if you weren't before that time. It like makes you think of those times, and it's. It's just, it's a classic. This game is amazing. And, uh, to do a bit of plugging... It is a classic. It is a classic. One for the ages. One one that should be remembered forever with Tetris and Dig Dug and Pac-Man. <laughs> um, 
So if just to kind of introduce my viewers, if they don't necessarily watch your stuff, uh, what exactly, uh, what exactly are you playing through on your channel at the moment, cows? Well, at the moment, uh, I'm doing Wario Land Shake It. I'm also doing uh, Star Ocean, which I really hope people will come over and watch. It's a JRPG. Uh, I don't do those very often, but this one I love, so please come check it out. And I'm also doing a Master Quest run of Ocarina of Time. And of course, if you haven't heard about Project Red Rooster, then you've been living under a rock and you really need to get out from underneath it and come check it out. That is uh, Pokemon Fire Red, of course, which I have never played before in my entire life. So, come check out Project Red Rooster. Yes, he, he's... Here's my shameless plug. I, I've plugged him on my channel before, and now you hear it from the guy's mouth. You should check out his stuff. He's, he's awesome. And this is the challenging stage I was talking about, where basically you have just a wave of enemies that you have to destroy. You've heard it from the cow's mouth. Exactly. <laughs> you heard it straight from the cow's mouth. Go check out his stuff. He makes the finest LPs this side of the Mississippi slash hemisphere of the world. Eesh. If you don't watch my stuff, I'll send you a cow pie. <laughs> and you don't want those. They they are not the chocolate treats you may think they are. <laughs> uh, this is a... Uh... I used to be able to get uh, perfect on that first challenge thing all the time, but I've gone back and played this game recently, and I'm I'm not as good at it as I used to be. Yeah, I definitely... My skills have definitely I've degraded lost as skill. well. Def it, 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 which is which is crazy to think that, like, you would think playing this game is like riding a bike, but no, no, nowhere near that close. And as you can see, that guy split uh -oh. off there. And, oh, no, don't want to die, don't want to die. Freeze again? Did we freeze again? Oh, no. Internet, why? Why you gotta be so... Why you gotta be so oh. cruel? Hello? Can you hear me again? Are we are we coming in clear? Okay, I think you're back. We're back. Cool. Cool. We are now. We're back. We're back. All right. Cool. God. We get uh, we get blackouts every once in a while. Yeah, it's like the internet wants to. Uh, we have rolling blackouts on the internet. Did I just gain an extra life? I think I did. Sweet. Sweet. Um. But uh, yeah. This. This uh. What were, what were we talking about? Talking about Galaga being a. Uh, not like riding a bike. It's definitely not like riding a bike. It's a. It's almost like a refreshing experience each time, because like you're like, oh yeah, this is like a strategy I used to use. Like you, it's almost like picking up an old um, picking up an old habit like fishing, like going fishing. Like you go fishing, you don't you don't uh, you're not good at first, but then after a couple times of being out there, you're starting to get your skill back. I really hate fishing. You don't like fishing? Oh, I, I like to fish every once in a while. So. I hate fishing. <laughs> if anybody's seen my Ocarina of Time playthrough, they know I hate fishing. <laughs> I actually haven't gone back and watched that. I've been meaning to. I've been... I hate fishing so much. You just sit there with your pole in the water and you're just like waiting for something to happen. <laughs> yeah. I, I could see how someone might not like fishing, but uh, if I'm with my grandpa or anything, or even just if we're out by a creek, uh, I'll like to go fishing a little bit. Ah! I'm very, uh, I'm very impatient though, and uh, fishing takes a lot of patience. So it does. That's it's just uh, not something I have. <laughs> I need it now. <laughs> yeah. Instant gratification. Did I not enter my name again? So, unless you're gonna fish like, uh, unless you're gonna fish like. Uh, Unless you're gonna, f the only way I'd like fishing is if you were fishing like Ernie from Sesame Street. He's just like, here, fishy, 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 <laughs> yeah. and then they jump right in the boat. Most you know? definitely. Now that's the way to fish. That's definitely that's that's the gentleman's way to fish right there. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> well, um, I don't know if we're gonna go much more. I think it's probably gonna be our last round unless I die again. That if, unless we. I completely do botch this game through this playthrough of this round. I think it's gonna be the last round of Galaga. No, nope, this, this is this is a run. You don't die at all, and you get to the kill screen. Oh yeah, <laughs> in which case I have to force myself to stop. Uh, <laughs> oh wow, this is so high adrenaline. Like you can't you can't match this kind of stress in Call of Duty, man. Like <laughs> the stress in Galaga you feel is 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 unmatched in any game. Feeling of helplessness, yet 
for feeling of awesomeness one second and helpless in this the next is just unmatched. Now I got the big guns. Let's do this. And I lost the big guns. Let's not do this. Shoot to kill. Ask questions later. <laughs> uh oh, you lost the big gun. I... Yeah. Oh no. Eh. God, I got it. Yes. Cool. Now, as I... Oh, no. Did you lose me again? Am I here? Am I... Oh, no. Ah, I looked away for one second. Oh, boy. No, I'm still here. All right, cool, cool. Um, don't... Don't no, don't look away. Yeah. These are the type of games you do not get to look away from. Keep your eyes on the prize. It's like driving. Um, but uh, as I stated before, this is probably going to be the last one. Next oh, week is going to be yeah. Jet Grind Radio. It'll be the, the beginning of that, which I'm excited to show you guys because... Ah, uh, that game, that game is... Oh no, why did I shoot him? That game is a seminal part of my childhood. And it'll be fun to show oh, you. Oh, because you have no lives left, that's why. Oh yeah, I don't want to do that. Alright, you... Thank you, Cows, for paying attention to my lives, because I was not... Ew. Yeah. Now they're abduct city over here. Now they don't have any lives. Oh! Yeah, I know. Why did I do that? Oh! oh. Alright. That was... That's a shame. That's gonna wrap up this this Let's Arcade of Galaga. Um, it's been fun. Thank you, cows, for doing this. It was fun. No having problem. Here. This was uh, this was fun. Um, again, if you have not checked out his channel, do it. It is linked in the under thingy and has been in my other channels box for as long as forever almost. So go check him out. He's cool. Um, so uh, with that, I have been Viral Rack. He has been. Cow's crazy. Moo! You guys have good days, lives, and situations, and I will see you another day.